Mom. Yeah, he moved out yesterday. I don't know where he's going. How do I know? Because I found all the emails they sent each other. That's why I don't trust her anymore. Shit! Oh, God. Sorry, I just dropped something. Yeah, I'm leaving on Monday for the bike tour. I just need to start over. Okay. I love you, Mom. Bye. A near flawless performance, this may push George Goforth onto the metal stand. See how he contains the victim? A very clean kill for a zombie. This style eerily reminiscent of a freshly dead Ronnie Phillips, the ambush legend. Extra points on victim selection. The judges really like to see people get cut down in their prime just as they are about to make a fresh start. A fresh start indeed, Chad. Now, you had a few kills similar to this one in your career, Wallace. How, how does this one stack up? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> well, you never have been one to beat around the bush there, Wallace. <laughs> so here's the leaderboard for the brain-eating competition. Goforth has made a strong statement and put himself into the top five. Regardless of what happens from here on out, this will be his best placing in international competition. We now take you over to the outdoor course where Indian national champion Bupinder Agarwal is preparing to strike. Bupinder Agarwal setting up his victim. The victim has been alerted. Ooh, that'll cost him some points with the judges. Good save. He recovered well. He'll get a few determination points for that. Those scores aren't going to be good enough to get him on the medal stand, I'm afraid. Earlier, we took some time to get to know George Goforth, the rising star of American Zombie Olympics. George Goforth grew up in the rural town of Sanbury, son of loving parents John and Stacia Goforth. G. Goforth was zombified during a vacation in beautiful Haiti. Shortly after his transformation, Goforth broke into the world of competitive brain eating with a win at the Florida State Championships. And now he's here at his first Olympics, continuing to make a strong showing. Now we'll continue over to the live action, and for that, we'll turn it over to Chad. Body Miller was expected to win multiple medals at these games. But so far, these Olympics have been a disappointment for him. We're going to check him out here in his final event, the Brain Eating Competition, where in the preliminary round he wowed the judges with his textbook flawless taking down of his victim. We'll watch here as he attempts to secure a gold medal. Body appears to be going with his old standby, climbing in an open window. This is the zombie brain-eating contest equivalent of a strikeout. He had good position, but bad luck, his intended victim, and a lack of poise got the best of him. What a disappointment. I think we all expected Body Miller to walk away from this competition with at least two gold medals. And now, it looks like he may be going home empty-handed, Chad. A lot of people in the media were talking about Body, you know, his preparation for these games and his hard partying lifestyle. And it's looking that perhaps those criticisms may have some merit. Wallace, what do you think about this situation? Indeed. 
Up next, with the final eating attempt of the competition, it's George Goforth, and he's got a chance here to secure the win. Wow! He's going to get bonus points for the fast execution time. These are very good scores, Chad. The American zombie George Goforth has won the gold medal in the brain-eating competition. The first American to win the gold since Ronnie Phillips in the 72 games. We now go to Megan McKinley, sideline reporter, who is speaking to the new Olympic champion. Thank you, Steve. George, coming into today's competition, no one expected you to get to this point. How did you feel coming into today? <laughs> And when did you think you had the gold? A truly inspiring tale. Back to you. And that concludes today's coverage of the zombie brain-eating competition. Don't forget to join us up next for Zombie Women's Tennis Championship. Here's a preview. Thanks for watching the Zombie Olympics on ZSPN. Until next time, for Chad Wells, Megan McKinley, and Wallace Grant, I'm Steve Carpenter. Good night, everybody.